yesterday. All right, first of all, cheeks. Cheeks are the masseters, okay? Masseter. And then um, this has now been torn because we have to do that today. The mylohyoid is the center V. The digastric, is, sorry, the triangle. The digastric is the V, upper, lower V, sternomastoid. And then this strip of two is sternohyoid. So getting your bearings, sternomastoids, digastric, center part mylohyoid, center part sternohyoid. Um, now the little guy that most people can't find is the stylohyoid, which is right here. Stylohyoid. Very small, very likely torn. I'm pretty sure I still have it on this side, but I haven't unburied it yet. Okay? Now today, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to cut your sternohyoid. I recommend cutting it at the sternum unless you accidentally already cut it the other way. So you lift this up out of the way, okay, get it out of the way, and you're going to see that there's a muscle here and there is a muscle here. And do you see how they, there's like, they strap down? So this is one piece, then it hits like a bump, and then here's the second piece. So one, bump, two. And then right here on the throat is the heart, okay? This is kind of the heart shape, so that's the cricothyroid. Crico thyroid, and I just and if you press on this, you'll feel the larynx underneath. It kind of feels really cool, um, and the so does this part. So that whole thing, I would highly recommend. Um, it's all hyaline cartilage. It's fun to push on. So the crico thyroid, just think crico, crico, because to do that noise, I have to use my larynx. Crico. So it's a little heart, and then this is the thyrohyoid. It goes from here's my thyroid. I'm tapping it. Tap, tap. Tap thyroid. It's a gland. It's a gland. So I'm I'm pushing on the thyroid, um, and then the thyrohyoid goes from the little pad up to the hyoid bone. So it got its name thyrohyoid because it's right beside the thyroid, and it stops at the hyoid. Then this guy, sternothyroid, same story. It comes from the sternum and it ends at the thyroid. So it's called sternothyroid thyrohyoid. So it's like you're doing a lily pad and you're a frog and this all ties in together because we go creek of thyroid, creek of thyroid. You're a frog and if you hop from the bank which is the sternum and you go to the pad you're going from the sternum to the thyroid. So sternothyroid. Then oh I don't want to stay on the lily pad I want to jump to the other side and so then I jump from the thyro to the hyoid bone. So sternothyroid, creek of thyroid, thyrohyoid in a row. And there's two sets, so this is the other one over here and this is the other one up here. Right here. I almost tore it. Right there. So, you feel pretty good about those bottom ones? Okay, now clado, to find cladomastoid, you gotta go down inside of the pit. And this one I, I think looks better than the other one. This is cladomastoid. So, this piece here, sternomastoid, Go down, take your probe, dip it in, and pull up, and you'll hit clado. So go straight down the sternomastoid, and then hook one. And that one you hooked is cladomastoid, or clado, or clido, or however you really say it. Okay. Now, get your sternohyoid out of the way, and now up here at the top, you've got the mylohyoid, and you're going to have to take your probe. This one's not torn, because this is the side that has my stylohyoid. You want to try, and if you do have a stylohyoid, use the other side because if you probe the side that has the stylohyoid it's going to get messed up okay so take your probe get up underneath there and just kind of pull it up and then lift this out of the way and what you'll see underneath is a straight muscle this muscle starts here and goes all the way up and there's two of them there's another one on this side but you can only see one here's the divider line right there where i'm tapping so this is the geniohyoid goes straight from the hyoid bone all the way up to the digastric, geniohyoid, and it's directly beneath the mylohyoid. And then you get in here and you kind of clean it up a little. There's a second muscle to the side right here. I sense that Jared is having some difficulties. Okay. So this is the hyoglossus. Okay, so geniohyoid, and then right beside it, this guy that's kind of at a weird angle, that's hyoglossus. Okay, so it's alphabetically in the right order. G H from the center. 
GH. Hyoglossus geniohyoid. All starting from the hyoid bone. So that's how they got its name. And then I forgot, I don't make you learn the ones in the pit anymore, and I had you draw them on the diagram. Oh well. There's a styloglossus and a genioglossus, and I don't make you learn those anymore. Okay, so digastric, masseter, sternomastoid, sternohyoid, and the little guy right here, he's turned brown over the weekend, stylohyoid. Then lift your sternohyoid, you got the cricothyroid, you've got the sternothyroid, you've got the thyrohyoid. And I probe all these on the test, by the way, so there'll always be a probe wherever we're at. Okay, And then you tear the mylohyoid open, you push the rough out of the way, straight line down the middle, geniohyoid, and then the weird guy that's kind of at a kind of little bit of an angle from it is hyoglossus. One's on the side. One's on the side. The, that one? Oh, yeah, clado. Yeah, sorry, cladomastoid. So this deep muscle. Okay, and now I'll tag it for you guys, and that's it.